You got further questions? No, I haven't. Thank you, Senator Seward. Thank you. Um, I want to go back to the savings um, or the cuts that we were going through earlier and go back to the leverage, leveraging Australia's brand for food. Which element of the department implemented that program? Uh, Senator, that funding was actually uh, transferred to Austrade, so the implementation of the program would have been carried out um, by Austrade. Austrade, okay. And on what basis was that program um, cut? Why, why was the decision made to cut that program? Was it unsuccessful? Was it? Uh, Senator, it's a decision by government. I'm not in a position to speculate on the... Minister, can I ask you? Sorry, I didn't hear the question. Can sorry, you... um, what, what on what basis, sorry, parliamentary secretary? Um, I'm happy to take the promotion. Yeah, so okay. So um, I don't know. Uh, a certain other uh, minister will be very happy <laughs> if I arbitrarily promote you. Um, on what basis was the decision made to cut the funding for, or cut the program for the Leveraging Australia's Brand program? Uh, look, I'm not aware of that particular decision that was made by the Minister at the Ministerial level. The budget measure simply reflects that it, the savings um, have been redirected I'm by the government to repair the budget and fund policy priorities. Uh, I read that bit Good. in there too. So. What I'd like to know is, has the department, I understand, um, Ms Evans, your answer that it, you allocate it, but it goes to Austrade. Did the department do any evaluation of the value of the program? Bef um, I'm not asking for the advice. I'm asking, did you undertake any evaluation of the program? Uh, Senator Philip Glyde, Deputy Secretary. Um, we hadn't as yet conducted an evaluation of that work. It was in its essentially its first year of operation. Mm. And so the normal fo uh, course of events, we would have evaluated a bit later in the, the run out of that program. Um, as Ms Evans has already indicated, it, the funding was to extend, uh, there's a tail of funding out to 2016-17, mm. with the bulk of the money being spent in uh, this current financial year in 14-15, but we hadn't got to that stage. Okay, so, so it, it's only just started and it's been cut, so you're unable to say whether it's successful or not? Uh, we so haven't done a f uh, the question was we hadn't done any formal evaluation. I think yeah. um, we we so my extension of that was we don't know if it was successful or not. Sorry, no. Uh, I think the uh, from our perspective, uh, again, it was whilst it was delivered by Australia from our uh, perspective and from the comments we received from state and territory ministers and officials, they were uh, quite pleased with the work that had been done today. They were pleased yep. in just in the feedback that you. Yep. Had they uh, that. Just, just to go into the detail of it, the, the program was uh, examining what uh, the what overseas markets were looking for from Australia, their perception of Australian mm -hmm. produce, farm produce, and also was looking at what the Australian producers thought would be should be the the brand image that we're selling overseas. Okay, and so if I understand what you've just said correctly, they considered it was starting to be successful? That they were interested in the information uh, that had been provided by Austrade. As I said, the first stage of the program was to essentially survey the market, see what was there, and the subsequent stages were then to, um, were, were planned to, uh, having figured out what the messages were, to start to provide those. So we've got some useful information that we can take on with our further work. The, 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 the program today has provided us some, with some good information. Okay. Does that? I mean, I'm particularly interested because I was been listening to the feedback from the Chinese, for example, who were starting to talk about the need for clean grain food yep. and taking a much higher interest in that particular area, talking about grain branding. And I would have thought that this sort of program would have fit in directly with that particular program. Um, correct. The, uh, the work that Austrade uh, did in this regard was to survey a range of markets in, in, uh, across Asia. Um, as well, uh, not just in China, and that certainly was that strong message was that we're a producer of safe, reliable <coughs> food. Um, we can be, we're a trusted brand, and so that that information is um, is good to know, and it's now up to Australian agricultural industry and and, um, and others, including ourselves and Australia, to um, to build on that. Okay. So now that program has been cut, what alternative is it appropriate to ask it here, or should I be asking it later in the agenda? Um, but what alternatives have been put in place to actually now do what that particular program 
has started. Senator, you could ask um, a few questions a little bit later in the um, in the program. Um, I think it's relevant to note also that the government's got its agri agriculture competitive white paper process that's um, uh, that's current currently underway. <coughs> so it a wide range of issues, including uh, trade and related matters. And um, we'll get to that later in the agenda. So later I'll ask in the agenda, yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>